G'day, in this video I'm going to talk about teaching the nine times tables and looking at the patterns that exist in those tables. Let's look at this sequence of single digit numbers from zero to nine, straightforward. What happens if we write the single digits in the opposite order next to the first one? I'm going to think while I do this. Notice we get the multiples of nine, so we've got nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, and so on. This set of number facts is just full of patterns. So um, we can see that the tens digit is going up by one each time. The ones digit is going down by one each time. And in combination, we get the nine times table. Look what happens if we add the values of those two digits. So zero plus nine, that's nine. One plus eight, that's nine. Two plus seven, that's nine. Three plus six, Blah, blah, blah. So all the way to 10 times 9, the sum of the digits is 9. Now the next one, of course, is 99. The sum of those digits is 18, which interestingly enough is a multiple of 9. The next number is 108, and so the sum of those three digits is back to 9 again. So that's just one set of patterns. Now another aspect of the 9 times table that we can take advantage of is the fact that it's next to 10. So take, for example, a question like 6 times 9 equals what? Off the bat, that's not a terribly easy number fact to do. 6 is a large number, 9 is a large number. It would be difficult to imagine an array 6 by 9. However, if we think of 6 times 10, that's easy, that's just place value. 6 times 9 would be 6 less than that, wouldn't it? So it would be 60 take away 6, which is 54. Another way of approaching this, let's take another example, 8 times 9, is think of the first digit as 1 less than the number being multiplied by 9. So if we know, if we think of this idea that it's a number of 10s take away some, if this is an 8, the first digit of 8 9s will be a 7. And the second digit we can figure out because we know the sum of the two digits equals 9. So we could think 7 plus what equals 9? and it's 2, and that will get us the answer. Another way of doing this, using the same features that you always have 9 um, as the sum of the digits, is to use the fingers. If you've seen this before, you'll know what I'm talking about. I just call it the 9 times finger trick. Hold your two hands up with your fingers and thumbs together. I'm going to turn around to face this way so you can see how it looks from my side. Imagine they're numbered from 1 to 10, from left to right. Take the number that you're multiplying by 9, put that finger down. So I'm going to choose 7, 9 times 7. Here's finger number 7. We've got 5 here, 6, 7. Put number 7 down. Count the fingers on the left-hand side of that gap. There's 6 there. That's the number of tens. And count the number on the other side. That's 3. So our answer to 9 times 7 is 63. That's just a brilliant little trick. Um, I've taught it to students and they love it. So... Nine times table, not that difficult when you look at the patterns. There are lots and lots of ways of thinking about it and looking at it, um, unlike a lot of other number facts, actually. But for the nine times, um, there are lots of easy ways to look at it. And that's it.